What's up, everybody? Welcome back. All right. It's going to be doing some Brunswick Pro Bowling for y'all today. So, yeah, just kind of taking things casual, taking things easy today. All that good shit. So, yeah. Should be fun. Let's see what kind of balls I got. Got those weird power-up balls, but I'm probably not going to use them much. So, yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, like, how my future plans are looking right now, I'm going to go over that real quick. Uh, so, like I was talking about before, because I actually just finished up that playthrough of that uh, one Japanese-style visual novel game that I was working on. Damn, I was off a little bit. Had the right idea, it's just curved a little too much there. Um, but, yeah, so now that I finished up that game... Um, it's going to be a while before I get started on any of my new playthrough projects that I have planned. I mean, sort of. It's I don't want to quite give away my plans, but basically I'm going to be working on a lot of like non-commentary content coming up, kind of like I did at the beginning of 2023. Uh, you guys didn't seem to mind too much, so uh, hopefully you guys are cool with that. This time, though, it's probably going to be for a lot longer that I do non-commentary. You know, some non-commentary content is probably going to be for a lot longer than I did at the beginning of 2023. Because at the beginning of 2023, I did, like, non-commentary content for probably about, like, I'd say two and a half months, maybe, there for a while. I did non-commentary content. This time, it's probably going to be more like, if I had to guess, anywhere from, like, four to six months that I'm going to be doing some non-commentary content. It's still going to be good stuff, and I still got some fun stuff planned for you guys, even you know, even without my commentary. It's just been very tough recently because of this chronic cough that I've had, and I haven't really been able to do much recording. Plus, ever since I got this new job at the shipping facility, I have a lot less time to record videos with commentary for you guys. It's just kind of how it is. Um, so... Yeah, I find it harder to actually get shit done for you guys. But hopefully, after I'm done, you know, doing this non-commentary content that I have coming up for a while, uh, hopefully that'll be the last time that I'll have to do anything like that. And then I'll have plenty of content prepared, and I won't have to do just non-commentary content like that for a large period of time again. Because usually, for those of you guys out there, you know, who've been watching my content for a while, you guys know that... I like to produce a mix of content with commentary and content without commentary. So I like to do a little bit of a mix for you guys. That way, if you guys enjoy my videos with commentary, you know, you guys can enjoy those videos. Or if you think my voice is fucking annoying as shit, which is a fair criticism, um, then you guys, you know, can get a break from the sound of my voice. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but either way... That's basically what I got going on, so make a long story short, unfortunately it is going to be a while before I'm able to do any more uh, of my playthrough projects for you guys, sort of. You guys will see what I mean, though, coming up with some of my non-commentary videos that I have planned, where it's, you know, just gameplay. Um, but once I do, you know, get back to doing stuff with commentary again... Uh, I'm going to hit the ground running with some of my playthrough projects. I still have this chronic cough that I've been dealing with, but I feel like now I'm able to manage it a little bit better, so I feel comfortable enough to start working on my playthrough projects again, but like I said, I got a little bit, not necessarily super far behind, but I just want to make sure that in the future I never run out of content with commentary to produce for you guys which is why for a while i'm going to be doing some stuff without commentary so that way because again for those of you guys who don't know how i run my youtube operation i pre-record all my videos several months in advance before i actually upload them so from the time i record a video to the time it gets uploaded several months goes by and that's how i'm able to run such an efficient youtube operation that's how every single day i always have something prepared to upload for you guys and basically, I just stockpile the videos on, you know, my hard drives and shit. So, yeah, and that system has worked very well for me. So, yeah. Nice! There we go. I actually had a good frame for once. 
But yeah, that's basically the plan for now. But rest assured, bottom line, I got some really fun shit planned for you guys coming up on this channel in the future. Uh, some projects that I've been working on getting together behind the scenes here at Basement Cave Studios. And again, I think I think I got some fun stuff coming up that's going to yield some fun results. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I'm always committed to trying to find new ways to make my content better and find ways to, uh, you know, new and fun ways to entertain you guys and all that good shit. At the end of the day, though, I'm just here to play some games and have some fun, and I hope you guys enjoy it and all that good shit. It's what we're all about here at uh, Basement Cave Studios. Our number one philosophy here has always been just fun and games. I don't care about being the best or any of that bullshit. I could give a fuck less. At the end of the day, all I care about is playing some games and having some fun with you guys, and that's all there is to it. So, yeah, but either way, I got some fun shit coming up on this channel for sure. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. Or I hope you guys are anyway. <laughs> but either way, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Bottom line, again, like I said, I got a lot of fun shit planned coming up for you guys. Huh, that's good to know that I'm not the only one getting gutter balls. Oh shit, I ran out of monster. Well, that's a fucking problem. Alright, I can work with that. As long as I don't fuck up too badly here. Oh shit, I think I did fuck up a little bit. Let's see if it'll still work. Oh, yep. Yeah. I figured with the angle the ball was going that that one pin might not knock down the other. Alright, I gotta go grab myself another energy drink, so I'll be back in just a second. Alright, I am back. Yeah, that is the one great thing that I love about games like this, or especially uh, when I do like sports games for you guys. The one great thing about that is that like in the middle of a recording session, if I need to, I can go like grab a drink or do shit like that and the game pretty much plays itself. Uh, yeah, drinking a lot of freaking monster today, <laughs> which is probably going to kill my insides a little bit, but it's my dad's fault for not buying soda, so it's definitely his fault, so now I have to take from my personal stash of energy drinks, which I try to save for work in case I need them for work, and I still try not to drink them too much at work either, because, you know, energy drinks aren't cheap, but, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing else for me to drink. I mean, I could just drink water, but honestly, fuck that. I need something with a little flavor to help, you know, stimulate my brain a little bit. God knows I could use all the extra brain stimulation that I can get my hands on. Because <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit retarded sometimes. So, the extra brain stimulation definitely helps. And again, I don't like drinking this many energy drinks, because again, it's not healthy, but at a certain point, you know what, fuck it, there's nothing else around here to drink. I don't feel like drinking alcohol right now, plus I try not to drink alcohol during recording sessions. Unless I'm playing psychological horror games like uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, then in that case, I'm getting fucking plastered. <laughs> God help my soul if they ever come out with a sequel to that game. 
because my producer is probably going to make me do it on this channel and I'm going to have to get really fucking drunk to get through it if it's anything like the first game. But I don't know if they ever plan on making a sequel to that game. Still to this day, that is the hardest playthrough I have ever had to do on this channel, was uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. From a mental standpoint, that game is so fucked up. I mean, just incredibly fucked up. Wow, actually almost almost had it there. All right, well, we're at the halfway point, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. So stay tuned for the next part of this game coming up next. Until then, peace out.